to create with me. Uh, today I just thought I would jump on here. I've got a couple of um, journals I'm working on and today I just thought, well, I'll go ahead and do um, some pockets uh, collage with you guys. Um, this isn't really a tutorial, it's just more of a process. So um, I'll show you some of the papers I'm working with today. This is not a design team project for me, but I know somebody's going to ask. This is uh, Antique Papery on Etsy. And I'm not going to go through and list um, because I've got a lot of her kits. So all I will do, you know, is just give a mention because, um, like I said, I, I'm not designing for her. So uh, if you want to check her out, she's on Etsy. And... Um, beautiful papers um, so yeah I thought today what the heck I will just start creating some um, collaged pockets and I'm sorry about the printer going on in the background but I'm trying to get some of these uh, things printed out at the same time multitasking you see <laughs> um, okay so, I do not know what I'm doing. These are little envelopes that you can buy in the UK. They're little wage envelopes. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's just a bit of decorating with these. And um, like I said, I just thought I'd go ahead and turn the camera on. And those of you who want to join, can. So, how was everybody's weekend? Mine was okay. No complaints. Um, let's see, where did we last leave off? Okay, I did tell you guys about the craft show. Um, and, yeah, the you know, like I said, I, I enjoyed getting out, but the craft show itself was the. I didn't uh, really buy anything craft related. But, having said that... I walked in and thought, well, this is weird. It's a craft show. And, you know, these places, sometimes you get all kinds of stuff, you know. Like these infomercial type products, you know, like mops that you don't have to actually do anything. The mop does all the work for you, but it doesn't. Well, it was that kind of thing. And I'm like, okay, well... Uh, clearly, they don't know we're here for a crafting market. So, I'm whizzing around there. I come down an aisle, and there's some booze. I'm like, oh, okay, well, now maybe, maybe this does have possibilities. <laughs> Not that I drink much, because I don't. I rarely drink. But... Now, you got to keep in mind, this is like 10 in the morning, and they're given samples. And I'm thinking, well, okay, you know, I've had my coffee, and I think that morning we had had a little um, shake, because we drink, we drink uh, kefir, or I call it kefir, my husband says kefir. Um, it's like a probiotic shake, we have that, so... I thought, well, okay, I, I guess I can have a little taste of it. Well, it was um, caramel rum. And, oh, my gosh, it was so nice. And I thought, okay, well, I'll get a bottle of that because it is. it was very nice. I mean, I don't, like I said, I... I have a, I like cider, I like apples, you know, the hard cider, and I'll have one of those occasionally, but that's about the only thing I drink now, because I have acid reflux, terrible. So, I thought, well, this would be just kind of nice to have on hand, so I'll get a bottle of this. Well, buy it, move on to the next little stand. I don't know, the next one was something some other kind of little gadgety thing. Then the next one, gin. Well, I've only had gin and tonic, and you can have that stuff. Yuck. Um, but this was like flavored gins, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll have a sample. 
because, you know, the little sample from the caramel rum, I was already starting to go to my head because it's 10 in the morning, right? <laughs> so, he's got rhubarb, and I don't know if you guys know, but I think rhubarb is probably my favorite pie. So he had rhubarb gin. Oh my goodness, I'm like, oh yeah, loving that. What you got? <laughs> what else you got over there? And he had uh, four different flavors, and of that four, I walked out of there with three bottles of that stuff. So that's what the craft market in the United Kingdom is. <laughs> but uh, so, anyways, I've got they're just small bottles, but. Um, you know, just something a little bit different. So anyways, my point being, yesterday, um, I don't know if I, I'm sure I've mentioned to you guys that we drink raw milk now that hasn't been pasteurized or messed with by man. And um, so we have to make a run out to get that. And it works out fine because it's a, along the route from my car boot. So, you know, it's like a good 45-minute drive to pick up this milk every week. But, you know, it's a nice little trip out. So very rural. So we go out there, and um, he, in the summer, is also doing ice cream. And at the show, they had said, oh, you must the caramel rum, right? Back, I'm back to the booze. They said, oh, you need to try this over ice cream. And I'm thinking, oh, heck yeah. So we get out to the um, pick up the milk yesterday. He's got the ice cream stand open. So um, I said, oh, you know, let us get, I think we got, it's equivalent to like a pint of vanilla ice cream to bring back. Um, so we put it in the cooler, head home. We did dinner yesterday, and I said, oh, let's have our ice cream with caramel rum. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. That stuff was amazing. I have never in my life ever had ice cream as good as um, ice cream that has not been messed with. Um, because it, he makes his ice cream from the raw milk. Incredible. I mean, there is nothing that even comes close to the creaminess of that. So... Um, so that was my, yesterday was a real treat. I, uh, I picked, I totally picked out because I was just like, oh, uh, you know what? Let's just split this ice cream because if we don't, there's just going to be enough left in there that somebody's going to be mad when they come in tomorrow looking for ice cream and it's not there. So we just split it and oh my gosh, what a treat. So if you ever get the chance to try, um, you know, raw milk or ice cream from raw milk, do it. You will not be sorry. It is incredible. So that being said, today i got to get back on the um, rebounder and try to work off some of the calories I took in this weekend. <laughs> but um, So we did the car boots. I didn't get a whole lot, I'll be honest. Um, Oh, I tell you what I did do, and I'm kicking myself. I knew, you know, sometimes you, you tell yourself this is not a good idea, and you still do it. Well, that's what I did. Girl was out there, and she had some of the Fisker's punches. Well, I've never bought any other brand except Easy, um, easy Success except one time, and that was, you guys have seen my round corner punch. It's terrible. Um, well, she had the Fiskars border punches, and they had, were such pretty little designs. And I said, oh, okay, I'll try two of them, because they were cheap. I, I mean, that's the only re good thing is that they were cheap. <laughs> but I got home, and do you know them stinking things didn't even work? So I wasn't happy about it, and I thought, well, it's too much trouble to go back up there and say, hey, you sold me two punches that are broke. Um, but I knew it at the time. I thought I shouldn't go off-brand with these because you can just always tell the, the quality wasn't there. But, yeah, I was pretty annoyed at the fact that the things didn't even work. Um, and I did try 
to go on and go through the repair, you know, steps. And in the end, I just thought, oh, you know what, even if I do get the things working, it's just going to be a nightmare and I'm going to end up tearing pages. So, unfortunately, yeah, it was a really bad purchase from that. But other than that, I didn't get anything this weekend, really. Um, I got a couple of books, but they're really nothing you know, of it, interesting enough to share with you guys. So, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Saturday was a scorcher here. Um, yeah, it was bad here Saturday. And I'll tell you, I was worried about Daisy because she's coming up on 13 in December. And uh, when we left Florida last year, I really did wonder if, if she was going to be with us much longer. That's how lethargic she had gotten and um so sorry i gotta take my jacket off again i'm going back and forth with uh, fleece today so anyways saturday was unbelievably hot we don't have air conditioning um we had three fans on in the bedroom saturday night we still couldn't sleep it was that i mean i checked um at 7 p.m here it was, you guys are going to laugh, it was 89 degrees. Um, but, having said that, that's 89 degrees with high humidity and no air conditioning. Let me tell you, that is no fun. No fun at all. At least in Florida, you know, everybody's got an air conditioner. But here, it's so dangerous for these little old people. Um, I really feel sorry for the seniors because we were struggling and... I couldn't even imagine what it must be like if you're, you know, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, so anyway, Saturday, yeah, Daisy, I was just really getting worried about her because um, she was, just had no energy at all. And um, yesterday was great. Yesterday morning, it had dropped like 20 degrees overnight, so that was fantastic. Um, so she really perked up. And then we left her here and carried on out to the um, car boots because we don't take her anymore. It's too far for her to walk. She just gets, she, it's just a pain with her uh, to doing that because the one's in a massive field and she just, she doesn't enjoy it. So we started leaving her. Well, while we were out there, the sun popped out, and do you know, before we got out of that car boot, I thought I was going to pass out. Um, and it wasn't even that high of a temperature yesterday, but the sun, I cannot explain to you guys. If you're not here to experience it, you wouldn't understand it. But the intensity of the sun here is almost as strong as what it is in Florida. And yet, you look at the temperature, and it's like 73 degrees, and you're thinking, what? No way, it's going to be at least 90. Um, so it's something that really does baffle my mind. I, I'm not sure. I always kid my husband about it, um, that they burnt a hole in the ozone over here. And he takes it really well because he knows how I am. I'm always picking at him. But um, I do wonder. There's something very, very odd about it because it feels as hot. And yet it can only be, it's in the like 70s. And you would think you are in Florida. It's very, very strange. I, I don't have an answer for why that's the case, but it is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just carrying on. Sorry guys, I'm not really... Um, that one I feel like needs a bit more white or something there. Um, so yeah, that was our day yesterday. I'm trying to think if we did anything else after. Didn't do a whole lot after the ice cream, I'll tell you. Because that, that, that kind of did it for me. I was like, oh. <laughs> it was so good. But yeah, I nearly overdid it with that. Now I'll have to come back and do something. Aren't those pretty papers, though? Really love these papers. So yeah, I just thought it'd be nice just to try to get some of these done. Um, on camera, I better keep up with the time because I might let this go too long. So you can see what I'm doing. I'll tell you what, 
you can kind of see what I've done there. Let me jump over to this because I got these in one of my purchases at the um, car boot. You know, like I needed more envelopes, right? Oh, gosh, I, honestly, I must be. Well, let's see, I have a thousand of the window ones. So, I don't know. I'm guessing all together. I must have about 1,200 envelopes in this house. Isn't that crazy? Who needs 1,200 envelopes? That's kind of pretty. Because this is going to be another pocket on the page. Um, so yeah, I kind of like that, I think. And then I'm just going to glue it down so there will end up being a pocket behind and then a pocket here. So yeah, I think I'll just do that there. And then I might come back and even do, I think I might come back and do a little bit of stamping over some of these just to give a bit more interest. I, I won't do much more on here because the, the um, if I let the videos go too long, it takes forever to edit them. Um, but I did want to at least come on. So yeah, the time is getting down there now, guys. I've only got it's under two weeks now um, until Jared gets here, my son. And yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot wait to see that boy. So yeah, I've got all kinds of stuff planned. I'm just so afraid I'm going to... Because see, he's got to keep working while he's here. And I do. So I suppose that's... That is the, the good thing because he's got to work as well. They've only let him have the time if he will agree to, to carry on working um, some of the time, you know, while he's away. So I'm just afraid I've got so many things planned to do with him. I just can't wait. I've got it mostly, and it's really bad because most of it's around food, but we love our food. But yeah, there's so many places here. He's not had um, really good Indian um, food. So we've got a really nice restaurant that we go to. So I want to take him there. And then um, oh, pasties. He loves a pasty. So I'm going to make sure that we have a really nice pasty. And then um, he's asked for homemade pizza, but I don't know if I'll have time to do a homemade pizza or not <laughs> with all the stuff i got planned. <laughs> Let me grab a, a script stamp real quick and see if we can do something with that. But um, definitely the ice cream with the caramel. I'm going to have to have him try that. And then I want to take him over to um, to Wales on the coast because the coastline over there is very rugged. And we've only ever really seen, um, well now, last summer I got to see uh, the coastline in, Wa in Maine, which is very rugged. But they've never seen anything other than um, Atlantic or um, Gulf of Mexico. So I really want to show him the Welsh coast because it's, oh, it's just so, so nice. And if we end up staying in the UK, that's probably where we're gonna end up permanently based, but we don't know. We're still thinking we want to come back to um, the U.S., you know, Maine, or still considering Michigan, but we've fell in love with Maine, and then we don't know about the um, the Pacific Northwest appeals to me as well, but I think it's too expensive too expensive up there. We're not wealthy people, and I think you've got to be very wealthy to live up there. Okay. This one needs something. Let me see what I've got with my stash. Let's pull it over here. Um, 
let's see. So these butterflies are just a combo. This is Artie Mays. And then Tracy Fox, Love, Fo Love Junk Journals. She does butterflies as well. So if you're looking for butterflies that print out for, to fussy cut, check out those ladies. Um, let's see, I'm kind of thinking. I kind of like that one. Let me just see if I've got time to do this. Boy, I'm, I, don't, I can't go. Where, where'd the time go? My thing's like 28 minutes. And uh, it just seems like I just turned this on. I don't know. I think today, I don't know, today's been an odd day for me. It really has been a strange one. Um, I don't know if any of you get like this. But some days, man, I just... I can't get my focus, and I. Th this has happened to me now, really all weekend because I've got very, very little accomplished this weekend. And um, to be honest, most of the time I'm pretty um, on top of things. This weekend, I just didn't get anything achieved, and I just finally had to walk away because I was getting so frustrated and I just thought, well, I'm just going to end up making things worse, so, um, and I have to say it spilled over to today. It's probably because I'm not slept the last three nights um, with this heat and then you know how it is when you get overtired, you it's hard to get back to you know to get a good night's sleep. So I think that's what's happening. Is I'm overtired because my focus is awful. And I don't know if any of you, I'm sure most of you have hold, heard about the um, the um, intermittent fasting, and I I've been on you know doing that for a while now. And I will say if any of you. Um, have trouble with focus that helped me a lot um, but I think I need to get back to where I'm stricter with my uh, fast again because that's when I was really being productive I think I'm gonna put that there I quite I kind of like that it's a real contrast to that um, so you know I don't know if any of you are struggling with that as well but I would highly recommend trying it because it definitely helped me and my husband both with, uh, you know, getting our focus back. And I know somebody's going to ask about it. Um, if you're interested in it, look look up on it because I'm no expert. I wouldn't want to advise anybody on that. You you just need to research it and decide if it's right for you. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there, guys, because this has actually ended up being a longer video than I thought. Like I said, this isn't a tutorial. This was just a, you know, kind of a create with me as I um, am starting to make some stuff. I know I've got to do a bit more to these. Uh, that's just getting the basis on them, and then I'll go back and add some more details. So, anyways, I hope everybody's okay, and I will see you guys here later in the week. Take care. Bye.